Hello YouTube vacuum enthusiasts. So I am back with yet another airflow box test. Um, this time of this Shark Vertex model AZ2002. And many of you will know, uh, this is Shark's newest uh, corded upright that they have in their lineup. And I just got this a few days ago, so I'm really interested to see what it's gonna pull on the airflow box in its different modes. As usual, um, you can see I've got two different machines here. I've got my Shark Apex, the older version, um, and also my Kenmore Crossover Max, two other bagless machines that have also performed pretty well on this test. Uh, four bagless machines, I should say, both getting around 70 CFM or so. Um, but I'm pretty interested to see if the Vertex will be able to beat these machines or if it'll be slightly less. Um, it does have all the filters in, completely clean bin that I wiped down, and, and it's actually been used very little since I first got it, so it's still in very good shape. Um, it also, as you can see to the right of the machine there, I did take out the Duo Clean roller, and it still functions fine without it, but I just want, I needed to take that out in order to seal the machine down to the box properly in order to get a good seal with the tape. So taking that out, it uh, worked much better. And also something interesting you can see on the current meter up there in the upper left part of the screen right now is it's actually drawing a little bit of current around 45 milliamps. And this machine is totally off. Um, there's no, it's not on, there's no lights or anything on it right now. So there's some sort of low power circuitry that this shark is using all the time that it's plugged in. So that's pretty interesting. And then the final thing that I'll mention before we start is you probably noticed from the title of the video, I finally got for my birthday a particle counter. This is the HT9600 variant. And you can see right here, there's that. And so we'll finally be able to do filtration tests on this shark. Obviously this claims to have a sealed system, um, but we will test that out with my particle meter. But let's go ahead and jump right in and get started with our airflow test. This first test will be starting on the hard floor mode. So this will be with a complete seal for airflow and with the brush roll spinning um, at, a, at a slower speed. So this should be the highest measurement. But let's go ahead and get started. Get the anemometer set here. There we go. And again, this will be on hard floor mode. So here we go. Uh, 83.14 CFM, which is actually a relatively very impressive number for a bagless machine. Again, this is with all filters in um, on hard floor mode. Um, but 83.14 CFM, and you can see on the current meter there, I'm running at about 117 volts under load. I normally run a little bit more than that, but um, it's just a, a little bit lower today, but 117 volts under load with this particular machine. So let's go ahead and reset the anemometer. Put it back on max there. And then our next uh, measurement, I'm gonna flip the switch here. This is for carpet low pile. So this opens up the little relief valve at the end of the hose a little bit so it doesn't seal down to the carpet quite as much. So this should reduce the airflow a little bit. Also the brush roll will be spinning much faster um, on this mode since it's more for carpet. But let's see what kind of difference this makes coming from 83.14 CFM. So here we go.
Okay, so we're at about 73.19 CFM, which is a little less than a 10 CFM drop compared to uh, the bare floor mode. So that's a pretty significant drop. It must be releasing quite a bit of airflow there from the hose. Um, and obviously the brush while spinning faster does take a little bit of power too. Uh, you can see it's running at about 1220 watts there on the current meter total. For our last airflow test with the filters in, let's go ahead and switch to the thick carpet mode, the high pile. And here we go. I'm gonna... Okay, so you can see we're at 60.59 CFM. So that's, um, again, an uh, just over a 10 CFM drop compared to low pile carpet mode. So pretty uh, consistently uh, a 10 CFM or so drop between each of those modes going from hard floor to carpet low pile to high pile and thick carpet. Um, so next let's go ahead and take out all of the filters. There's three filters in here, two pre-motor filters and obviously the HEPA post-motor filter. Uh, let's take all three of those out and then do three more measurements to see what kind of difference those have. So I'm just going to reset the anemometer here. Whoops. There we go. And we'll take out the filters here. Okay, so I took all three of the filters out. So we're going to start in hard floor mode. Again, that we started at right around 83 CFM or so. So let's see what kind of increase there is by taking these three filters out. So here we go on hard floor mode with no filters. <laughs> Okay, so 84.34 CFM, that's about a 1.2 CFM increase compared to the measurement um, for hard floors with the filters in. So not too bad. Um, as you can see, all of these filters have less than five hours of total use on them. This HEPA filter is very clean and is still in excellent condition. So it doesn't surprise me that it's not drawing down very much airflow. Um, but 84.34 CFM. Let's go ahead and switch now to carpet uh, low pile mode. See what kind of difference that has. Again, carpet low pile with no filters. Okay, so we're at 75.98 or right around 76. Um, and that's just a little less than a three CFM increase compared to where we were at with the filters in on the carpet low pile mode. And then for our final uh, airflow box test from the nozzle, let's go ahead and switch to carpet uh, high pile, the thick carpet slash area rug mode and see what kind of difference the filters have. So here we go.
Okay, so we're at 61.62, which again, that kind of jives with around a two CFM or so increase um, from taking the filters out, which again, is really not too bad in the context of a bagless machine. Uh, so now let's go ahead and move on. We're gonna do nozzle suction tests in the three different modes and see what numbers the uh, vertex can get. Okay, so we're all set up for the nozzle suction test. Let's go ahead and start um, on what will probably be the lowest measurement. This is the thick carpet slash area rug setting, but here we go. So that's really not a lot of suction, just about 10 inches of lift or so. And I can hear the hose leaking a ton up there. So it's definitely doing its job uh, to prevent it from sealing down to a thick carpet or area rug. So now let's go ahead and see on carpet uh, slash low pile mode. Should increase, but by how much? Let's go ahead and see. So I saw about 18 inches of lift, so it is increasing here. Um, about an eight inches of lift increase compared to our previous measurement. And then for our final nozzle suction test, let's do carpet or the hard floor mode, which should be the highest because it completely seals it at the hose. But here we go. actually that much increase about 19 or 20 inches which isn't that much so pretty low nozzle suction from this machine which definitely surprised me since its suction from the hose is so impressive um, so let's go ahead and move on now to our brush roll speed tests okay so we're all set up for our brush roll speed tests and you can see I do have a piece of reflective tape here on the main brush roll with the power fins as shark calls it um, and that was super easy to apply and will be super easy to measure. Now, I also wanted to measure the speed of the fluffy roller, the, the duo clean part of that equation. But unfortunately, it's got these really annoying combs right here that actually comb uh, hair and debris off the roller. And so it's very difficult for this piece of tape to stay on. You can see it kind of folds underneath there a little bit, but it still comes off. So I'm gonna try to take a reading of this because I am interested to see how fast the uh, Duo Clean Roller is spinning in comparison to the main brush roll, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. So let's go ahead and get started on hard floor mode where both of these brush rolls will be spinning at their slowest. So we're at right about a, exactly a thousand RPM or, or so on the uh, regular brush roll, which is definitely slow as you would expect on a hard floor mode. And I do apologize, but those cones are just fitted way too tightly. So they just immediately rip this piece of reflective tape off the brush roll. So it really just comes right off and isn't able to uh, stay on for a measurement. So. You can see the action right there where the combs literally just scrape it off. I mean, they do do a very good job, but it doesn't look like there's gonna be a way to measure that speed for now. Now let's go ahead and step it up to the carpet low pile mode.
Okay, so we're right around 3,030 RPM, which is still a relatively slow brush roll for um, a machine like this. Next, let's go ahead and use uh, the high pile mode and see how that does. So no surprise there, it looks like the brush roll is spinning um, at exactly the same speed on both low and high pile mode. So for our final test here, this is a brand new test for me, but we're going to run a particle count test. So let me get set up for that and I'll be back with my brand new particle counter. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my HT9600 set up right here, right at the exhaust of the Vertex. Um, and we're gonna take several readings. You can see I've got it set up on a little game box here so I don't have to hold it the entire time. Um, we're gonna take several readings. This is with all of the filters in, of course, and like I showed you, a pretty much brand new HEPA filter in there as well. So let's go ahead and get some readings. We're gonna turn the machine on and let the particle counter run its test. So here we go. So as you can see right here, the HEPA filter is definitely doing its job. We saw nothing but zeros for the 0.3 micrometer, 2.5, and 10 micrometer particles um, the for the entire test. So that's definitely uh, excellent filtration results for this vertex. So now let's go ahead, and now that we've finished all of our measurements here, let's go ahead and take a quick overview of all the measurements we collected from this Shark Vertex AZ2002. So as you can see, we were able to get quite a few measurements from the Vertex, and I have to say I'm a little bit conflicted because this could possibly be the best performing bagless machine in my collection. Um, I'll have to do some more tests uh, on some other machines to find that out, but it's certainly an excellent performer for bagless machines. Um, but as you can see, the nozzle airflow there on the column on the far left uh, on hard floor with the uh, system completely sealed and the hose sealed there, 83.14 CFM is very respectable. Um, and then it drops by about 10 CFM going on to carpet low pile um, to 73.19. And then it drops by a little over t uh, 10 CFM to get down to the thick carpet slash area rug mode at about 60.59 CFM. So um, certainly on the hard floor and carpet low pile modes, um, it's pretty easy to push and they did calibrate those modes well so it releases just enough suction and airflow so it doesn't seal down to the carpet uh, to make it difficult to push. The CFM density you can see though um, on hard floor mode actually it's over a 4, 4.5 which is actually pretty high so um, I understand why they put that airflow relief valve because if they didn't have that there it would be very difficult to push on any sort of thick carpet. Um, but even on the carpet low pile mode it's almost a four you can see a 3.9 there so that's still pretty high but I actually haven't run in, into any issues pushing this uh, on my relatively thick carpet because I think the duo clean system um, with that front 
brush roll kind of helps pull it through the carpet a little bit more, so it's really not too difficult to push. The nozzle suction I was definitely disappointed by. Um, you can see going from 19 inches of lift on the hard floor mode down to 10 inches on the thick carpet slash area rug mode. So very low. And as you can see, the hose suction uh, values are off the charts. 100 inches of lift on hard floor mode. So that definitely surprised me that it seems to be leaking a lot of suction going down to the uh, cleaner head. And of course, the hose airflow measurements are plenty high enough and are excellent for attachment cleaning. Almost 107 CFM with on the uh, quote-unquote hard floor mode, which doesn't really matter for hose cleaning, but without with the uh, suction relief valve sealed, 107 CFM is uh, a well above average hose airflow measurement. And you can see there at the bottom the two brush roll speeds. Um, on hard floor, it spins at about 1,000 RPM, which is definitely very slow, um, kind of akin almost to the fluffy Dyson rollers that I measured in my previous V15 video. And then the Brush roll speed on both carpet modes is about 3,030 RPM, which is definitely on the low side of things. I don't think I've measured a corded upright that is that low yet, which is interesting. So it'll, we'll have to see how that'll affect uh, carpet performance tests. So with that, that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed the new edition of the particle count test. I should have more of those coming soon. I want to do some more bag filtration tests as well as uh, more HEPA filtration tests, um, as well as refining my testing methodology for doing filter testing in a sealed room over a longer period of time. I've been working on that. so. Uh, definitely get subscribed for more great videos coming up in the future and be sure to comment down below if you have any comments critiques or suggestions and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video